Alright, so this is Nick. I have here a PWM that I got from QKits.com. Here is an 8-cell HHO core, or sorry, an 8-plate uh, HHO core. I got the plates from Home Depot, uh, $1.75 a piece, I think. Um, this here is a computer supply from an old computer I had. Uh, that I converted to a laboratory test supply. A, uh, I have the yellow, which is the 12 volts, 9 amps, hooked to the input of the PWM. The output of the PWM goes to ground. And the uh, two wires here are bringing the uh, pulsed power to the, the core here. So if you take a look, you can see the bubbles coming out. That's cold water with no electrolyte. I'm trying to keep the answer real low so it doesn't blow the circuit breaker on my my uh, ATX power supply. And here I'm going to turn down the bubbles using my new PWM control. You see them becoming less, less to nothing, and then becoming more. Add a small amount. There we go. Very small amount. Increasing that. Decreasing that. And then putting it on the full power that this little power supply supports, which isn't very much. And you get that. So, um, didn't really notice increased power, power output um, based off the amount of amps that we're using, the amount of bubbles we're getting. Of course, I'd have to test it with a volume, um, a volume measure and, and whatnot to really get it down for sure. But uh, in any case, this is what I got. There you go.